Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. In this video, I'm going to show you how I got this super sleek and extremely long curly hair ponytail. Like, I exaggerate it a little bit with the length and it doesn't have to be this long when you do it. But um, I just think it's still really cute and I think that sleek low ponies are very versatile. It doesn't matter if you're in like comfy casual clothes or if you're in a ball gown, it will always look really good. So yeah, stay tuned to see how I got this look using some bundles because this is not my real hair if you can tell. Although the curl type is kind of similar to my hair but it's way nicer. Before we get started with this video, I do want to shed a little bit of light on everything that's been going on involving the Black Lives Matter movement which is something that I fully support and I stand behind 100%. Now I know our social medias and our news outlets and the whole world and the internet is literally saturated with everything that's been going on, rightfully so, and I think social media is such a good platform to spread messages and to educate and to share resources. And at least for me and I'm sure for many others, it can be very overwhelming and honestly heartbreaking to just see everything that is being done and all the injustices that are being done to black people and people of color so yeah as insignificant as posting a hair video may seem i hope that you guys can just use this as a little bit of a mental break in the midst of everything that's going on right now because i know i need it and i know there's so many people out there that need it as well and i will definitely leave some resources where you can donate if you can you can just educate yourself educate others share information sign petitions and i really hope you guys take advantage of those things because these are real lives that we're fighting for and i just think it's very important and if you can't do anything else the least you can do is educate yourself so make sure you leave a comment down below of your favorite black owned curly hair brand or any brand for that matter so we can all go check them out and go show some love and support them and I know this was a very long intro, but let's just jump right into the video. Okay, so I bought this hair from my local beauty supply, and it is from the brand Forever New 7. And it comes with eight pieces. It comes with two 16-inch bundles, two 18-inch bundles, and two 20-inch bundles. And it's in the style Shirley Wave in the color FS1B30. So I'm just take it out and show you guys what it looks like. So I just took them all at the box. They all come with their own like individual net. So I'm going to do that. And I'm going to tell you guys why I wanted to do this. Basically, I had bought a curly ponytail from a brand. Um, <clears throat> and it was just horrible. I'm not going to say it was horrible, but definitely was not worth $160. $160 I bought this curly hair ponytail. And it just wasn't worth it. So I was trying to find another way to do like a curly hair ponytail and I came across Jasmine Brown's video and she used bundles. So I'm going to link her video down below because I guess I did kind of get this inspo from her. So yeah, this came with six pieces plus the closure, which I don't need obviously, but it was only $24.99 and I got it from my local beauty supply. So definitely check out your local beauty supply because they always have stuff for the low. And I mean like your local beauty supply, not like Sally Beauty, you know? Um, but yeah, I was about to order some hair off Amazon, but it was like everything that I needed was going to cost me nearly $100 and I was like, no thank you. I'm going to be doing a middle part for this ponytail and this is my freshly washed hair. I don't have anything in So I just wet my hair a little bit because it was actually really dry, but I'm gonna go ahead and use these flexible styling glue from On Jackie's. It's my first time using it, so we'll see how it works. It says it's superior hold, moisturizing molding, and sculpting formula for hair and edges. So I think this should hold my hair down pretty good. Let's see the consistency. Oh yeah, it's super thick. It comes out very, very thick. Yeah, it doesn't even fall. Yeah, here's a little close-up. I feel like a little bit really is gonna go a long way. This is super sticky and thick, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that on my hair. So 
So to slick my hair down, I'm going to be using this new Care Co brush. It's the Tangle Buster Styler. And I don't know if you guys can see that it has two different types of bristles. So it's pretty cool. Something I've never seen before. But this is very convenient because usually when I slick my hair down, I would use like a detangling brush to make sure I get all of the knots out. And then I would go in with a bore brush. brush. But this one literally has both of those bristles. So it's super easy to use on your hair. I've used it plenty of times already. And just like look how smooth my hair is right away. I don't have to go back in with the bore brush because it's already basically here, if that makes sense. So yeah, this brush is super convenient. So yeah, you can also use this brush to detangle your hair as well. It still has the same flexibility as the Tangle Buster Mini, which is my favorite detangling brush, you know. I always talk about it on this channel because I truly do love that brush. So I'm going to go ahead and use one of my favorite hair ties. You guys know I love these super thick ones from Goody. Okay, so now that my hair is slicked down, I'm just going to go in with a little bit more of the styling glue and put that around my edges. So I'm gonna go ahead and braid this. I'm gonna detangle it a little bit using that same Tangle Buster Styler. There we go. So this is a 20 inch one and I don't know if you guys can see the color very well. It probably just looks all dark on camera. Maybe you guys can see it has a little bit of like lighter brown highlights throughout the hair. So I think it matches my hair pretty good. But for this part, I'm just gonna wrap this hair around my braid, starting from the bottom and working my way up. I'm just gonna take a piece from the end of the hair and wrap a hair tie around it. This is just like a regular sized hair tie. I'm gonna wrap it around here because then I'm going to secure this piece to the end of my braid. Okay, so now that that's secured on there, I'm just gonna start wrapping the fake hair around my braid and then I'm just gonna do that all the way upward. Now that I've reached the end of this track, I'm going to take this piece of hair and wrap it around so that it secures it in place, but I'm also going to put another hair tie on top. This is what it looks like with two 20 inch bundles in and now I'm going to move on and put the 18 inch one in. And this obviously takes so much longer than just clipping in a ponytail, but I feel like uh, it looks way better. So yeah, I'm just following the same steps. Okay guys, so that is the first 18. I'm actually gonna go in with another 18 inch. I know I said in the beginning I was only gonna use one of each, but I think it looks better if I use double.
The last piece is this 16 inch bundle and I'm just gonna try to stuff this into the barrette that's already on the braid because I literally ran out of ponytails. Okay, you guys, so this is the final result. It's extremely long. I honestly did not intend for it to be this long. It's literally down to like my hip bone, but it's just for fun. It's really cute. So I definitely think it's a good alternative to a clipping ponytail just because I think it looks so much better, even though this one's extremely long. It's also a good alternative price-wise because I only paid $24 for all of this hair when a ponytail, cost between 50 and 100 or more dollars so yeah i think it's really pretty i wish my curls look like this in a ponytail like they look so good so this is going to be the end of today's video i hope you enjoyed this one and don't forget to check out the description box because i'm going to be linking everything i use in this video as well as some additional black owned curly hair brands or hair brands in general that you guys can check out and hopefully go support and go show some love go show some love i said show some go show some love and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also the bell notification so you know every single time i post a new video and i'll see you in my next one bye